everybody. We're day three in Phoenix and it's just me and mom today and we are in Avondale. This is where Mimi was born and so we're gonna kind of look around and see if we can see anything that's recognizable from way back when the dinosaurs roamed pretty much. <laughs> so yep this is it. So we are going down the streets that look sort of like the streets that mom recognizes. <laughs> they look nothing like them. <laughs> We're going to see a dirt field over there. Kind of. <laughs> We're just going to look around and see if there's anything that she can see or anything. Oh, hi. <laughs> Do you remember the street you lived on? Yeah, I lived on two streets. I lived on 214 North Kinderman, I think, and the other one, the second one was um, First Street, I can't remember. Well, we'll see if we, maybe we can find those houses on First Avenue, maybe. That'd be fun. See if those houses are even there. Well, the first one was an Adobe house, so I have um, doubts that it's still there, but we can try. Yeah, we'll see. Fourteen. It's going to be one of the houses that are tucked back behind, though, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because it's way back on the lot. Okay. It's probably going to be right back in here. Is that it? No, it looks like it on the map. No, that says 306. No, this no. is two-story. Mm. 214, I'll bet it's back there. So. I think I have found a landmark. Really? Mm. What? This was Main Street. This used to be Main Street. It looks like a Main Street. This right here huh. is the theater. It is. That turned into a grocery Market. store. Uh -huh. And now it is a theater again, or, or reception hall. That's mm -hmm. cool. Mm -hmm. And that used to be at the very end of it. It was sort of subdivided, and that was the Rexall drugstore on the end of it. Every every old town has a Rexall. Uh -huh. It used to be a Rexall. And there were... Um, built-in stools that you set at the counter to have ice cream or cherry phosphate or something. Hmm. Yeah. I loved that place. <laughs> In the heat. Which meant that this right here was the ice cream parlor. The Tasty Freeze. I think yeah. it was this. And it still looks like it was. Yeah. It's just blue now probably. Yeah. It wasn't blue then. Let's go see if we can... Say that again. When did you live here? 52 to 1964. Cool. 1964. I'll see if I can show you the where the old police station and fire station used to be. Okay. If I can even tell if it's still a building. Or how far down it was. Street, there was nothing. 
<laughs> it might have been something like this. This is funny and then it's the same on that part that this the town basically ended. And that could be because that may be the river. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. So I'm gonna go back up the street because if you go across the tracks, there's another main street across that um, is where the swimming pool was. Okay. Did you walk everywhere? I rode my bike everywhere. Or I walked. So I'll go see if I can find my other house and that's... We either walked from Kinderman or... Uh, and we were little when we were walking. So Daddy Pa built that house on Kinderman. Did you build the other one? No. It was a brick house. So how come he built the houses? because it was cheaper to do so. I really don't know the history of why he did it. He clearly knew what he was doing. Um, he built, I think back in those days, it was probably cheap. It was tried and true in terms of sustainability. It kept you cooler than other houses because of what it was made out of. that they collaborated on what to build it out of and all that kind of stuff. I heard that much of the story and that she wanted a two-story house so the kids had a bedroom. So we didn't all have a bedroom. There were too many kids back then. Okay, here's Central. Oh, the Rexall looks like it's been painted over, but I can see where it was. Seriously? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's hilarious. That's awesome. All right. Here's Central. Now, Central had a little Baptist church, and I think we're, it may not be Baptist anymore. <laughs> the Iglesia Bautista, that one. This was all a dirt field, so I crossed over the dirt field to go to church, for, like vacation Bible school. Mm -hmm. And over the field, county corner. Ed's fish and chips, wasn't there? <laughs> over the field to go to my best friend's house there, and then over on the street, all of these right next to Kinderman uh, from my other best friend's house. So we would we would just walk up across this field and we had this little path. Mm -hmm. 218? Uh, it's 214. Is this 214? 214. Yep. This is it. Oh, wow. The minute you said 218, I remember 214. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The carport is exactly the same. It doesn't look like it's been updated at all. Wow. The trees were not there. It's so it tiny, was, Mom. There was grass. Oh, that's a full three-bedroom, honey. Uh -huh. <laughs> that was big for us. Mom, the trucks here are bigger than the house. Uh, yeah. It parked in there was our station wagon. Oh, I'm sure it was. And then the back tailgate that came down. Yeah. And that little door right there, the same exact little door, is where the milkman used to come in and put milk in our refrigerator for us every oh. morning. Oh, not every morning, twice a week, I think. Uh -huh. There was no gate like there is now. Oh, no, no gate and, and brick. And this was, I think, mm -hmm. dirt kind of stickery patchy thing. I don't see a cooler on the top of the roof, but. Oh, there is one. There is yeah, it's probably the original cooler, who knows. But that's my dad, that's where my dad put the cooler. Oh, he did it. He did it. He yeah, did he, that cooler right there? I don't know if it's the same cooler. And this was considered to be one of the fancier, nicer houses. I'm going to the school. If it's still there. It's still there. Land of Oceans. Yes, Ice Cream Man still exists, people. <laughs> Avondale Elementary, right there. It's right there. <laughs> Did 
district number 44. There were no districts, obviously, then. Only elementary school anywhere around. Until you got all the way into Phoenix. Look at that. And it was called Avondale Grade School. This used to be up here where all the high schoolers hung out, if, I can, if it's even there, and it was the A and W Ruger stand, just like you see in the 50s movies. Remember I told you that the blimps used to be stationed here? This oh. is the airfield they used to be sta to stationed at. Oh. That's why the town is named Goodyear. I wonder if there's any blimps, blimps now. Um, I don't know where they, I know one is uh, stationed in California. Where are we going again? Litchfield. To see what? I want to see if the Blue Angels are still there. Okay. You will like Litchfield. It's a very interesting town. This, <laughs> this is the story about Litchfield, the most famous story of our family in Litchfield. Is, I think I've told you this. My brothers were little, and my oldest brother had no boundaries and my youngest brother did everything he was told by his younger brother by his older brother his older brother they decided one day that they wanted to be hobos so they made up them their themselves the little stick and the little thing on the hobo and put their most prized possessions in these things and um hopped a freight train got on a freight train my dad and so they put a posse together which was on horseback to search every possible place where these boys could be because they disappeared off the planet and um, they ended up in Litchfield and then my dad had to go get them but I don't remember how they were found except it wasn't by the posse I think it was somebody who just said just caught him and said, where's your parents and that kind of thing, but yeah. they had they had the best time. They were going to be hobos. It was so fun, except over my house. Because they would practice their maneuvers out here, right? Yes, they practiced all the maneuvers. And what they would do is, when, right before they were out to fly out to go to a big show, the day before, or the two days before, they would um, uh, put their, their, you know, the engine yeah. smoke that they blow out. I don't think the camera's picking them up very well because I don't have a very good deep lens, but maybe you can see those teeny little specks off in the distance. coming up and over, Mom. It looks like it's gonna run us right over. I think he's circling back around. Yeah, 
I think so too.